<laughs> Can I pin you? I'm pinning you to this thing. Is that <laughs> your tactic? Is. This is mine. This is <laughs> Welcome to It's Giving Fashion. I'm Nigel Barker. And I'm Eva Marcel. And today, we are revisiting the era of questionable style choices. Yes, that would be the 2000s. You know what, Nigel? I still can't believe I wore some of this stuff back here. I'm still wearing it, actually. I, uh, I don't think it's questionable at all. But we're going to create some looks inspired by iconic, like what I'm wearing right now, 2000s photos from whatever we can grab off the racks. You pick it once, it's done. It's, it's done. Out. All right, that's the rules. Let's see this photo. Ooh, Avril! I remember <laughs> that time. She was everything. Eva, are you ready to start our first looks? Been ready, Nigel. Wait, hold on. Is that Tyra? What? Go. You have three minutes. You've been doing that forever. This is reminding me of Top Model, where we had absolutely no time to do anything. You know, the funny thing is, I'm looking at a lot of this stuff, and it does actually look like half of my wardrobe back in the day, except this is female clothing, which is perhaps a little strange. There is no man versus woman. A man can wear a purse. They're called a merce. We are in the days of everyone can do anything. Two and a half minutes left. If one piece could come back into style, what would it be? These fur boots, they were called mucklucks. Oh. oh, my goodness. And they're up there right now. They were literally the best shoes ever. So, did you just steal my mucklucks? What? what? You're what? such a... <gasps> such a hater. Why'd you take all the ties, Nigel? Sharing is caring, bro. Sharing is caring. Because I'm creating a look. Clock's ticking. Clock We've is got ticking. 90 seconds left. Oh. Ooh, a sidekick. 30 seconds left. There you go. Stay up there, girl. Stay right there. 10 seconds. It looks like you need a lot of help over there, friend. Three, two, one. What you got? What you got? Break it down. Well, Avril Lavigne was the queen of unisex clothing. I went ahead and did a denim vest. I did one of the most epic, memorable pieces of all of the 2000s, a chunky belt. Let's move over to mine, shall Let's we? Let's see. Oh, I, like I it. mean, first of all, you just said you liked it, which I, I think it means I actually win immediately. No. Masculine shirt, but you've then at the same time, we've tied it, so we've Feminized opened it up. It. So we've got these fabulous boots that you Mock love. Locks. oh my God, this is the 2000s best. This is like, ha. Huh. Look at this little wristband here. Yeah. It's a little punk. I would love to do what you do best, which is to take a Polaroid picture of these looks and see, you know, what the camera really thinks. Hey girl, oh, what did he say? <gasps> no. That was probably your best shot ever. There you go. Let's see what you've got. I know you're used to taking the photo, but I need you to pose for the camera, Mr. Baca. I'm telling Chris here. But I must say, I would wear your outfit head to toe today. It's like you're whispering something special. Yeah, I'm telling her what to text what, him what, on her sidekick. What, what, look at this. Well, you guys are in a relationship. Uh -huh. But just as the 2000s had us experimenting with bold fashion choices, DirecTV encourages you to explore new shows and content, combining live TV and streaming options in one user-friendly interface. I love that. Mm -hmm. Nice and simple. Are you ready to style the next look? I was born ready. All right. It's giving fashion. That's definitely giving fashion. It is giving fashion. We've got three minutes starting now. What's going to go? Ah, too bad. You can't chase me with the look, Nigel. Have you been looking through this already? Or no, something? I haven't, but I am inspired. Nigel, what is the most memorable photo you've ever taken? When you answer that question, mm -hmm. you make one person really happy, and then every other person you've ever photographed in your entire career very unhappy. You've got two minutes left, and I can hardly even put the pants on. Do you remember what your first paid gig was as a model? I think it was Olay. Ah! 90 seconds, and I'm so stressed out. What do I do? What do I do? Take some of these, she spangled her up. Don't try to be like me. Hey, stay right here, like my kids. You've worn tons of high-end couture clothing in your day. Yes, 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 but what's yes, your yes. kind of go-to look on a Sunday? Well, on a Sunday, I am watching football, baby. Do you wear football jerseys? Yeah, I wear the colors of my team. 20 seconds, Nigel. Make it make sense, friend. Three, two, one, reveal. Now you imagine direct TV on the catwalk. Wow. No pants. That's high fashion. That's no fashion. Oh, yeah. Even the dog is wearing. <gasps> oh, how cute we is that? We have a dog wearing direct TV oh, headband, the remote control in the purse. It's very direct, but it does not have anything to do with our inspiration. Yeah, I'm like... getting booked again. You'll see me on this competition. You, on the other hand, look like you might get eliminated. Let's take a look. This amazing inspired look, this here was a cape. 
that I decided to turn to the side. Rose gold pops, and then the hat. I mean, it's the chic. She's everything. You date her. Ensemble. Ensemble. Bleh. 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 Well, can I have her camera so we can take a picture and see what the camera thinks? What are you thinking right now, Eva? I'm focusing on my focus. That's what you taught me. Ah, oh, yes. I like that. I like the way you did with that. There she goes. We look like we're a couple. Like you're waiting to board an airplane. So this has been a serious fashion face-off. So shall we do it one more time, Nigel? Let's do it. Let's make this one a speed round. That means you have one minute. One minute. 60 seconds. Okay. Let's, Let's see go. this picture. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah, great. Get set. Go. <laughs> Can I pin you? I'm pinning you to this thing. <laughs> is that your tactic? This is, this is mine. This is <laughs> Who would you say was the easiest model you've worked with? It's one of the easiest people I've ever photographed has probably got to be Taylor Swift. What Just... makes Taylor Swift so amazing? I mean, Nigel, you have shot everybody. I did a book on Taylor. Uh-huh. And she has the look as in she's got confidence. Like you have the look. Like I said, it's in the eyes, right? Okay. 15 seconds and I haven't even got any pants on. Please don't be predictable. You know, give me something. I'm trying here. There's a reason why I take the pictures and I don't style them. Three, two, one. Let's push these back and reveal. I think I should go first. Okay. Because it was a picture of you. What I took from that picture was the color palette. But then I've also got these really nice shiny jelly boots because I know that you love a jelly boot. I do. My favorite thing is your headdress. Well, I thought it was very you. It is. To be honest, I would never wear this. You would never wear this? Let's go to my look. It's a crop top with shingle dingles. Oh, I see, shingle dingles. And then, dingles. yeah, shingle dingles. You see that shingle? You know what? Take the picture. That's your job. Take the picture. Work it. Yes. All right, hold on. You're so tall. Get you in this frame. Oh, I love it. And this is literally the best game ever. You might have won. I'll give you that. I know. You don't this have to give it to me. Definitely not necessarily my strength. Well, fashion fans, that's a wrap on It's Giving Fashion. And what a stylish trip down memory lane it's been. It's been so much fun. Now, if you have enjoyed this blast from the past, please do not forget to like the video.